HCF of 96 and 114. To find the HCF, we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is, see, 96 here, 114 here. This is your step 1. Next. Last digit 6, E1, so take 2. First number 9, a number close to 9 in 2 table is 2 fours 8. 9 minus 8, 1, 1 carried forward 16. When do we get 16 in 2 table? 2, 8, 16. Last digit 8, E1, so take 2. First number 4, when do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. The other number 8, when do we get 8 in 2 table? 2, 4 is 8. Last digit 4, E1, so take 2. First number 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2, 1 is 2. The other number 4, when do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. Now 12 is 2, 6, 12. 6 is 2, 3, 6. 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. The other number, last digit 4, E1, so take 2. First number 1, smaller than 2, so 2 numbers 11. A number close to 11 in 2 table is 2, 5, 10. 11 minus 10, 1, 1 carried forward 14. When do we get 14 in 2 table? 2, 7 is 14. Last digit 7, not E1. So this number is not divisible by 2. Next to prime number 3. To check divisibility by 3, for that we should add the digits. 5 plus 7, we get 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So this number also divisible by 3. So take 3. First number 5. A number close to 5 in 3 table is 3 1 3. 5 minus 3 2. 2 carried forward 27. When do we get 27 in 3 table? 3 9 is 27. 19 is a prime number, so 19 wants 19. Therefore, our HCF is, HCF is the product of the numbers which should be present over here and also here, here and here. So now, let us find the numbers which should be present here and here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So cut 2 right here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. No more numbers have been left out. So our HCF is 2 into 3, 6 is our HCF.